This is Mount Rainier National Park in Western Washington. Uh, behind me here is the mountain itself, kind of hidden in the clouds. We'll see if we can get enough clouds to dissipate that it might poke its head out a little bit. But Mount Rainier is a, a definitely a, a majestic and um, iconic mountain in the Western North American landscape. It sits over 14,000 feet uh, above sea level. And Mount Rainier is an active volcano. It's part of the Cascade Range, a north-south trending set of mountains that run from Northern California up into British Columbia. Each one of these Cascade volcanoes uh, exists because along the Pacific Northwest coast, we have a subduction zone. We have one plate diving beneath the other. Um, that produces magma. That magma rises to the surface underneath the North American plate and produces a chain of volcanoes with Mount Rainier maybe being the most uh, iconic among the bunch. Other Cascade Range volcanoes include uh, Mount Shasta, Mount Hood, uh, Mount Bachelor, Mount St. Helens, of course, which erupted in 1980. Um, and of course Mount Rainier. Uh, Mount Rainier hasn't erupted since the uh, late to mid, mid to late 1800s or so, but it's often considered to be the most dangerous of all of America's volcanoes. And the reason for that is that this volcano, like a lot of the stratovolcanoes that make up the Cascade Range, they erupt on average, you know, every few hundred years or so explosively. And that time scale is tight enough that it can catch people off guard. And what makes Mount Rainier especially dangerous is that it's capped by uh, large glaciers. This is the most glaciated mountain in the continental US. So you have all the snow and ice that sits up here year round. Um, and to compound that, we have large metropolitan areas down in these river valleys. So it wouldn't take much of a large eruption to melt a lot of the ice in the summit glaciers, a lot of the snow that sits up here. All that water would come down these uh, ancient valleys, these, these uh, glaciated valleys that now are occupied by rivers, and those would go down into communities uh, down in the lowlands. And so you're probably looking at uh, several hundred thousand people, maybe upwards of a million people that would be at risk um, from ice being melted and generating these big mud flows down these canyons, these things we call lahars. Um, other hazards that exist here would be the ash fall itself. So a large, uh, we can start to see the summit now a little bit up there. Um, but an explosive eruption of Mount Rainier would blanket the communities in ash, uh, which could be very problematic. It's also a health hazard. Um, of course, the explosion would melt, well, again, a lot of the summit uh, snow and ice. We could also see pyroclastic flows, these big avalanches of hot ash coming down these valleys. These wouldn't travel very far, maybe five or six miles, uh, but far enough to probably uh, inundate some of these small communities. Um, and so Mount Rainier then uh, sort of stands alone, uh, even more so than Yellowstone and some other volcanoes in America that get a little bit more uh, attention as being possibly the most dangerous volcano uh, in the Cascade Range. We can see over here, um, this is the Nisqually Glacier coming down here, uh, moving to the south. Um, and this steep canyon here was gouged out by the glacier when it was much larger and progressed much further down uh, into the valley. But the glacier has actually exposed nicely some of the layered lavas that we can see over there on the opposite wall. So those reddish gray rocks are all different types of lava flows mixed with ash layers, probably mixed with some lahar deposits as well, all ancient eruptive products of this massive mountain. And we're getting a nice view now uh, of the true summit of, of Mount Rainier. So again, a spectacular setting here in the Pacific Northwest and one of the most iconic mountains in the Cascade Range, uh, but also something for the citizens of the Pacific Northwest to kind of keep an eye on and definitely monitor. We do have monitoring systems installed by the USGS that will trigger uh, an alarm whenever a lahar is um, is initiated and that gives communities downstream upwards of half an hour to maybe an hour of notice where we can alert citizens. They have sirens in some of these communities where they can evacuate and get to higher ground. There's uh, lahar warning systems in place around the volcano and in the communities here. Um, and so people practice and are regularly um, educated on what to do if there's a lahar uh, in the area. So again, just another nice view uh, to the south of the Tatouche Range, uh, also a glaciated range here uh, at the south end of Mount Rainier National Park. 
I'm in a lovely view of the summit here of Mount Rainier and its glaciers uh, and all its majesty. Spectacular.